Hey guys, welcome to Sabri Zone. In this video tutorial, I am going to teach you about multiple authentication system. So we will go to our editor. In my case, it is PHP Storm. You can see we have a welcome.blade.php, which is this one. And whenever the user will log in, it will go to dashboard.blade.php. But as we are learning about multiple authentication, so I have to create three different dashboards. So I would like to copy this, but before we copy this, I want to show you layout. As you can see, we have a layout with X minus app minus layout. It means that inside layouts folder, we have a file with the name of app. So we will go to our layouts folder and we can see that we have a file with the name of app. But in my case, if I will click F5, it will allow me to recreate this file and this time I will create it as admin app.blade.php and if I will click for again so I would like to create as child.blade.php and if I will click again I would like to create as a parent app.blade.php so now we have three different templates files so now we will go to views and we will create a new directory here with the name of admin inside this admin folder I would like to create a new file with the name of dash board dot blade dot php okay great we will hit enter so we are inside dashboard dot blade dot php but as you know we are learning multiple authentication so we have to create two other folders with the name of parent and child and i will recreate by using f5 we have a new option here and this time i would create for parent and i will click again f5 and this time it will be for child okay hit enter so as you can see inside child folder we have a dashboard.blade.php but this file is empty to fill this file we will go to our dashboard.blade.php which is original one or built in by laravel and we will press ctrl plus a and copy this and first of all we will go to our admin folder and inside dashboard we will paste this but as you know we have just created a file with the name of admin app so I will change it to admin app layout and for child of course we will copy this and we will paste it inside child but this time this will not gonna be for admin this is for child save this and we will go to our parent folder inside dashboard we will paste that code again but this time will be parent app.blade.php so as you know it is a live wire component so we have to change the component address too so we will go on app inside app we have the view folder inside view we have a component folder and we have app layout file so we will go to app layout file and I will press F5 and this time this will be parent first of all admin app layout and similarly we will change the name to admin app layout and this will go to admin app okay now we will click on app layout again and press f5 this time i will create it for parent parent app layout so similarly change the class name to parent app layout and now it will return layouts folder and parent app.blade.php similarly we will create for child so i will press f5 again and this time it will be child and similarly we will change it for child app layout and the file returns is child okay save this 
and now we will create controller for this i have to make a controller with the name of landing page controller so php artisan make controller that is landing page controller okay hit enter controller created successfully so we will go to this controller first and we will create three functions for the landing page which will specify which user will go to which landing page so we will go to landing page and here we will create a function with public function first one for admin so inside this folder we will return a view return view inside this view we have to pass the address which we have just created with the name of admin dot dash board and of course a termination okay similarly we have to create two more functions for parent and child so i will copy paste this and first one for parent and second one for child okay similarly the folder name okay now our files are ready and our functions are ready it's time to create a route but before we create a route we have to create a middleware so we will go to our terminal so we will write php artisan make middleware and now the middleware name which will be out check okay hit enter middleware created successfully now it's time to register this middleware so we will go to our kernel file where is kernel file we got this kernel file okay inside this kernel file we have to specify the name of this middleware in my case i am writing out check and now arrow and uh, now the address which will be app http and middleware of course inside middleware we have a file with the name of out check okay now class okay now our middleware is registered successfully now it's time to work on that middleware so we will go to our out check middleware and here we have to register the name which we have just created which will be string and then the middleware name which is out check as we have registered with this name but this time it will be a variable okay now we will duplicate this and instead of closure that will be string and dollar out check okay great now here we have to apply a condition if dollar out check is equal equal to admin and out user role id i have created a field with the name of role id inside database is equal is not equal to is not equal to 1 one is for admin so what will happen abort 403 okay similarly we will copy this for other two parent and child and instead of role id 1 parent have role id of 2 and child have role id of 3 now our work is almost done we will go to our web.php to create route inside web.php first of all we have to create a route group 
so that only authenticated people can access this route group inside this group i will create a array of middle where middleware of out and a callback function inside this callback function we will authenticate the middleware we have created few seconds ago so we will create a route group inside this group again middle middleware this time this middleware will be out check which we have registered out check and this time this out check will check for parent another thing which i wants to use is prefix this will be for url so whenever the admin url will be called admin admin url will be called every url should have the admin before the url and as admin dot this dot will be used inside name of that url okay now again we will create a callback function here function okay now we are ready to go to create a route for admin so first of all route get and url of course which will be slash dash dashboard and array inside this array we will call the controller landing page controller class comma and function name which is admin okay termination point similarly we will create the route groups for other two fields parent and child out check if it is parent out check if it is child and prefix of course for parent parent and parent dot similarly for child child and child dot okay so and the function names parent and child okay now it seems we are ready to go so let's try out so we will go to our browser and click on register the form is pre filled just because i am using live wire but as you can see this is a parent registration account so if i will click here uh, for a gmail address just like 511 at gmail.com and date of birth whatever you wants to give and uh, i will click on login it will take me to the actual dashboard which was created by laravel as i am registered as parent so i will go to parent address to check out my middleware so i will go to parent and as you can see nothing happens and if i will change the background color of parent white to green suppose with 300 opacity and let's refresh this page okay great as you can see the background is changed successfully and now if i will access parent admin dashboard and it is given me error so our multiple authentication has been successfully implemented and this is implemented using middleware i hope you have enjoyed this lecture for more please do subscribe my channel and like this video i need your feedback thanks for watching